Hey, welcome back Ram fans. I have my week six power rankings here for you. And not a lot of change. No new teams entering the top 10. So obviously no teams exiting the top 10. Although we do have a shuffling among those at the top of this list. And this is also an opportunity for me. I use this to tell you whose season is over. Our watch list of which teams can kind of kiss this season goodbye. We had already christened the Bears season over. I got two more teams I'm adding to that list. The Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. They're both done. Thank you for participating. We'll see you next year. And I have three teams on the watch list for that that better get moving fast, better add some W's really quickly, or they're going to be in that group of teams kind of regrouping for next year. Those three teams, all NFC teams, the Arizona Cardinals, Minnesota Vikings, and New York Giants, and the Vikings losing Justin Jefferson for four weeks. That is not going to help. Um, their season may be over sooner than we think. Good football team just cannot win games. So who are in my green room outside of this top 10? You know, I'm going to not include the Rams. If we were talking first half production, uh, how teams play in the first half, they'd probably be a top seven or eight team. But they have struggled in the second half, so they are not in my green room. I'm going to include the Jags, Chargers, and Seahawks, those teams right outside my top 10. And who is my 10th team? Same team as last week, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who had a bye. They're 3-1, and one, and they have a big game this week with the Lions. And that will tell us a lot about both teams. I'm not convinced the Bucs are playoff worthy, but because of the division they're in, they very well could be. It's probably going to be them or the Saints. Hey, Falcons are actually playing pretty well, too. Who else do we have? Uh, well, number nine, uh, the Cleveland Browns, and that's where they were last week. Nothing's changed. They were on a bye as well, and they host the 49ers. That could be a defense that gives the 49ers trouble. We'll see. And number eight, dropping one spot, the Baltimore Ravens, three and two at this point. They travel to Tennessee. If you watched any of that game against the Steelers, it's hard to ding the Ravens too much. They just blew chunks at the end of that game. They had no business losing that game. Steelers got a, got a gift wrap for them. Um, so Ravens just drop a spot. And the Cowboys uh, are my number seven team. They lost to the 49ers, got shellacked pretty good, as you all saw. So... Um, they drop one spot as well. They're three and two. It seems like they should have a better record than that. They lost to the Cardinals. They're going to rue the day. <laughs> they're going to, that, that's a game they're going to look back and, and it's going to end up costing them, I have a feeling. If not a playoff spot, uh, playoff seeding, definitely. And they travel to LA to play the Chargers at SoFi. Number six, the Buffalo Bills, three and two. Uh, you know, I ding them a little bit. They dropped three spots, traveled to London, and that's always a tough gig, especially playing uh, a pretty good Jags team that um, had been there for two weeks, right? So that's a big disadvantage for the Bills. It was supposedly their home game, but uh, they lost to the Jags and they host the Giants in an all New York State affair. They should get well against the Giants. Number five, moving up three spots, the Detroit Lions, four and one now. And they beat one of the worst teams in the league, the only winless team in the league, the Panthers. So maybe I'm giving them too much credit for that, but they played solid in all facets of the game. Very solid win at, uh, at home against Carolina. And as mentioned, they traveled to Tampa Bay. My number four team moving up one spot, the Kansas City Chiefs, they're four and one. They went on the road and beat a good uh, Minnesota team. They didn't look their best. They're kind of like the Eagles. You know you, you know how good they are. You know they're probably going to win. It's just a matter of uh, how shiny the how shiny they look 
as they are winning and the Chiefs and Eagles still look like they have some things to figure out, especially on offense. But hey, they won the game. They won a road game. And uh, that's all you can ask for. They host the Broncos. That will be a severe mismatch. My number three team, the Miami Dolphins, four and one. Um, they're just cruising along. They had that blip against the Bills, uh, you know, a divisional game on the road. Those were always tough. Uh, they're they're a really good team. See how uh, see how much time their um, rookie running back A Shane misses, and they host the Panthers. They could probably bench uh, two or three of their starters on offense and still win handily. Number two, the Philadelphia Eagles, five and zero. They travel to play the Jets. Jets have a really strong defense, so. That'll create some challenges for the Eagles. And like I mentioned, similar to the Chiefs, obviously one of the best teams in the NFL. I have them as the second best. I don't think they've peaked yet, and and that's okay. Jalen Hurts, you know, I haven't seen a lot of him, um, you know, being a Rams fan. But he's a, he's a really difficult guy to defend. You know, he looked so good against the Rams and the Rams really tackled poorly, helped his cause. Um, but the Eagles clearly the number two team. I feel very comfortable calling them the number two team, just edging out the Dolphins though. Man, how would an Eagles Dolphins Super Bowl look? That would be a lot of fun. And right now that might be my prediction, even though my number one team right now is the San Francisco 49ers, 5-0 traveling to Cleveland. They put on a show uh, against the Cowboys, really embarrassed them. Um, and you got to wonder, you know, we're still figuring out, sorting through all these teams, how they stack up against each other. Maybe we're all overrating the Cowboys. They lose to the Arizona Cardinals and they get shellacked by the 49ers. So how good are the 49ers? That's the first time they've played a, what we thought was a really good team. Um, but maybe the Cowboys aren't really that good. We'll see. There are a lot of, a lot of, um, you know, these these upcoming games. Are still, we're going to learn a lot about all these teams. Still figuring it out. But my top ten is starting to gel, starting to solidify. Uh, no changes at all. No new entrants. No one leaving. Uh, that's probably going to change though. That Lions Bucks game. I have a feeling the Bucks are going to exit the top ten. That'd be my prediction right now. Um, but, uh, and the Browns, you know, without the running back, they had a, a big lift the first game without him played really well, but are they going to struggle moving forward? And the Cowboys is that offense as bad as it looked against the 49ers. A lot to figure out over the next couple of weeks, but that is my top 10 moving into week six, my week six power rankings from Rams up.